Hello, so now in this video we are going to see how we can handle the duplicate data. Um, so this is a very important video because uh, in terms of business we gather a lot of information and when we gather that information there are a number of duplicate data which we get. Suppose um, the main uh, thing which you can the main example over here which you can take is of a sales company you can see that there are maybe um, customers who may visit more than one store so uh, I may have their data from different stores right so the customer remains the same but then I have data from different different stores so that is the place where duplicates arise in terms of business when we speak about the data the very first and the very important thing is cleaning of the data which is very important because when you get the data it's in the raw form and to clean that data takes a lot of consumes a lot of time than analyzing the data as you can see both analyzing the data as well as cleaning the data are equally important because unless and until you clean your data in a manner uh, which is so efficient so that you can analyze it uh, to the full extent right so we are going we are i am just taking a very small example over here so that i can make you all understand now this exact same thing you can use you can do with um, what you call a large quantity of data or a big data right so here we have uh, the three or two different methods basically I have divided into two different methods the first one being highlighting the duplicates now we have done this using the conditional formatting which is a very easy uh, tool to use the next method is to remove the duplicates completely from your data so now uh, here I am going to use two different methods the first one is the remove duplicates feature which is there in the data tab and the second one is to use the unique function now uh, I'll just straight away dive into my spreadsheet this unique function is not available in the Microsoft Excel currently but what we are going to do is we are going to use the Microsoft's um, online version of Excel to um, look for this function right so just straight away moving into the spreadsheet the very first thing is to highlight the duplicates now as you can see I have a few repetitions over here I just want to highlight these repetitions now how do you do that uh, I'll do that using conditional formatting so the very first step is to select all your data you can do this by clicking on Control shift down and then going to the home tab in the home tab you have this conditional formatting so I'll just click on the new rule in the new rule you have something as format only unique or duplicate values just click on this and any way you want to just format it maybe also from here what you can do is you can highlight the unique values for the time being I just need to deal with the duplicates so I'll just use a particular formatting let me just give a fill um, any color you can choose and then just click on the ok button and you can see all the duplicates are now highlighted so this was the easiest way to highlight your duplicates in a given data right the next thing is to remove the duplicates so over here you see um, there are certain duplicates in your data now how can you remove these duplicates is a matter of concern right um, let me just add a few more duplicates so that it becomes easier for me to understand whether we are removing the duplicates or not also here I can change this to maybe yeah and that's it so gosh. so I have a few duplicates over here as you can see so I need to remove the duplicates completely from my data so now the method we choose is in the data tab there is something as remove duplicates now before that what do you do is you select your entire data or you can do you can select it with the names as well and then click on the remo remove duplicates button over here here you have to select and select the columns we have only single column so we will just select click on the names and my data has headers because this is considered to be a header this is not you can't have duplicates for this and so I'll just click on the names and I'll click on ok the moment I click on ok you can see you will see that the duplicates are gone there were four duplicate values found and removed 
eight unique values remain. So there are eight unique values which remain. So there were three Shivangis. Now there is only one Shivangi. There were two Mohans, two Harsh, and all those duplicates are now removed. So basically, four duplicates which were there are now removed, and only the unique values remain. So this was about the remove duplicates. The next method, next way is to get the unique rows. Suppose I want just to get the unique values. Let us say I just want Shivangi over here. I want Harsh. I want Anisha. I want Sita. So these are the okay. unique values which I want in maybe a separate column over here. So again, you can use this remove duplicates option. What you can do is you can select and you can remove the duplicates if you want to. The purpose of making this into a separate tab is that I want to use the unique function. So unique function is not available currently in the Microsoft Excel. Uh, version which we have so i'll just go to my google over here i'll type in office.com and you just need to click on the office.com something of a page which opens and gives you allows you to access all the microsoft tools over here you can access excel powerpoint onenote anything you want to for the time being you, you can access the excel over here and you can just click on the new uh, workbook so that a new workbook completely new workbook opens up in your chrome uh, itself now for the time being let me just go back and i have already created a sheet over here so I'll just click on this. You can obviously open a new workbook. From here, you have some default options as well. You can choose to that uh, also. So here I have created a workbook. The first one says unique rows. So basically it says that I want to get the unique rows. Now how do I get the unique rows? Uh, what you can, let me just increase the size if it makes easier for us to understand. Okay. So now I just want to get the unique rows uh, and how do I do that? I use the something very diff very new to Excel is the unique function. So you just write you and you get this unique function. You can just click on the tab button to get it full and then you need to select the array. So this is my array which contains duplicates. Uh, for the time being, I'm ignoring the parameters, the other arguments and I'll just click on the enter. The moment I click on the enter, this is some, the unique is something as an array function. So you get all the unique values. You see, you get Shivangi, you get Harsh, you get Sita, you get Anisha. So these are the unique values which you get using the unique function. So this was a very interesting function with the, which the Excel has introduced, uh, Microsoft has introduced and which is not currently available in our versions. But yes, we will get it very soon. The next is unique columns now these were the unique rows how to determine how to get the values from the column if you have it within the column now how to do that uh, again we'll just use the unique function so let me just increase the size for you all to just get into the touch um, it might be a little slower when working on this particular workbook but then it's fine so i'll just go into my unique command unique function and in here the array selected will be this comma by column so uh, you will see that there is something as by column i need to turn this on, uh, true so by default it is false so i will turn it true so i'll write true over here and then just simply close the bracket enter and you get Shivangi, Harsh, Sita, the unique values. If you had more Sita, Harsh over here, you would have just got the unique values. This was by column. So in the argument by column, you need to turn it on. You write, you need to write true over here. And as you can see, it's a array function. You won't get it over here. You won't get the function over here. But then, yes, you will get the function on the very first Step, right this was unique function where you can get unique values from the column the next one is uh, when you want to extract the values which occur only once so basically I want to extract those values which occur only once these values are as you can see in my table is only I think Sita and Harsh these are the or maybe it's only Sita the only value which appears once is Sita. The only customer name which appears once is Sita. So how to do that? I can just simply write unique over here. 
and I can select this particular array and then we have two arguments by column so I'll just ignore that for the timing so let me just give a comma and go to the next argument which says exactly once so exactly once means that I just want exactly that value which appears only once so in here I will write again true so that I will only get the values which appears only once the customer names which only appears once which is Sita so I'll click and the moment you click on enter you get the only person appearing is Sita that is once now um, you can say that the values of the amount will also matter so that we are going to look up in our next tab over here but then this uh, tab was only to show you how to use um, the feature of getting only once so suppose if you maybe wanted to know about the name of the customer who uh, who went to only one of my um, branch right only one of my outlet so that is Sita the others maybe have went to more than one of the outlets uh, so this way you can extract the values which have appeared only once right so this was how you use the unique function the next is the use of multiple columns so over here we have multiple columns with our cells basically what do I mean by multiple columns over here is that we have region and we have rep now it will take just a second for you all to analyze that we have north harsh north harsh so these two are exactly similar but what if you see east marry east marry both of these are similar here you see West Mohit, West Mohit. But what if, let me just change uh, this East to a West. So I can now say that these two are not similar kinds of data what we have. We have North Hush, North Hush. You can say that these two are similar. These two are similar. But then these two which says East marry and West marry. These two are not the same because it might so happen that you have uh, within two regions you have two different reps whose name are exactly same which is Mary so these two are not duplicates these two are different these two are not duplicates so we need to consider both the columns the region and the rep names so how do we do that we'll again use the unique function over here unique function and the array selected will be the two array over here and you just simply close the bracket nothing else you just need to select the entire region click on enter and then see you get north you get harsh do you get more north harsh no you do not you just get one north and harsh you get north d you get east west mary both right you get both and over here as well you do not get two times west mohit you just get it once so this is how you can use unique function to extract values when you have more than one columns you could have three four five columns as well and you could have just simply used the unique function and in that you just need to select the entire column both the columns and you just need to click on enter and you get those values which are unique on the basis of both the columns because when you consider only one column then you just get north east west and central that doesn't hold any meaning also when you just select this particular array you just get harsh deep marry so that also doesn't hold any meaning separately but when you select both the columns it will hold a particular meaning that you might have uh, two reps whose names are exactly similar but their region is different so these two are not same these two are not duplicates these two are unique values so this was how you use the unique function why I introduced this to you all because this is something which will be added to our uh, newest version later on it is not currently available to us but then in future it will be and it's a very useful tool for us to use so instead if I do not have unique function with myself now what is an alternative so I'll show you all the alternative the alternative is obviously to use the duplicate remove duplicates now how do we do that first of all select both the rows both the columns and just click on the duplicates in the data tab and in here you need to select the columns suppose you select region and rep both and then you just click on the ok and you remove all the duplicates before that moving on I'll just show you all one more quick shortcut over here just let me 
write any number in between so that it becomes easier for you all to understand what I'm trying to say is that these numbers are different for all as you can see these numbers are different these numbers are not same so basically if you try to analyze this particular row and this particular row north north 10 30 hush hush so you might say that these two data are not uh, duplicates these are unique because the numbers are different but then I say that no the numbers are maybe a serial number or maybe some date or something like that which is not so relevant so the re relevant cheese uh, thing which we need to consider is region and the rep so these two are the important uh, indicators that whether my data is uh, unique or duplicate considering the number it can be a serial number as well so if I would have added this particular entire column in front of A I could have considered it to be a maybe serial number or any number which you can just you just have allotted to this particular rep name or the data entry right so we can say that these two are duplicates because the number can be different but I want region and rep to be unique so these two are duplicates whereas over here let me just change it this to west and so these two are not duplicates because then here we have east and west which are two different regions and the rep names can be similar because we may have a rep with uh, two reps with the same name in different regions numbers are not so relevant over here in this case what do we do is again we use the duplicate function so first of all we need to select all the three columns I'll just click on the remove duplicates in here you need to select the number of columns so the moment you select only maybe rep and number then you might only turn out you just get remove this hush you might also end up removing this particular marry which is not important which is or you might end up getting all these because the numbers are unique right you you'll if i just select these two rep and number then you will end up with all the values there will be no removal just click on ok and check there is no duplicates found why again no duplicates because the numbers are different whereas in my data i do not want the numbers to be considered so again if i just uh, take region and number again no duplicates found see so what do I need to do is basically I need to select region and rep so that I, the Excel will try to search for those duplicate values which occur on the basis of only region and rep it will not consider the number over here. So I'll just click on the OK button. Two duplicates were found and removed. Seven, du uh, seven unique values remain. So what all are removed maybe I had Mohit over here and also I had Harsh so both of those values are removed and we remain we have only the unique values these are some very very important tools for you to use uh, while, uh, while you are searching for duplicate values in your data set and I'm sure these will prove very helpful for you all when you are dealing with large and large amount of data thank you and also you can make a note of my PPT. Thank you.